Our next case is a Lowndes County case this evening. It is case number REZ 2015-07, Bolleton Farms. Staff, if you will, present at this time. Yes, sir. And before uh, we get to that Bolleton Farms, that 2015-06, we spoke about it in the work session, that was withdrawn. We didn't get that in writing from the applicants, and so that was officially withdrawn by them. We will subject to plan rather than results. Okay. Like that. The request in 07 is to take um, almost a 600 acre property and change it from its current zoning from R21 to and conservation zoning to EA zoning, which is our most agricultural zoning in the county. With that, the staff report, you can see there was some debate among staff about uh, EA versus RA, but ultimately the votes were a 4 3 vote for EA. Um, I don't have any updates since the work session. I do know that the applicant's agent is here to represent them. Um, should you have any further questions, but at this time, I think I will leave it at that. I'll try to address any questions you may have tonight. Staff, do we have any questions? Do we have any questions for staff? I got one. Commissioner Woods? How did it change from the previous zoning that was approved in 2000 for the, with the 2030 plan by the county? Was that the one that, that changed the zoning from to R21 from agriculture? Yes, sir. Okay. You, you look on the screen, I did pull a slide in that showed the, the map for the 2006 ULDC zoning. The property, just to get your bearings, is right above the city limits and about the central part of the screen. So this is the map before it. You see that small sliver of FH zoning which became conservation. And then this is what happened after the commissioners adopted the ULDC. Um, it changed to R21 back to RA and then that further out where the city became. Yeah. That is when it changed, yes, sir. The landowner did not request it. To no. R21. No. The county commissioners changed the zoning on that particular property. Was there any other request that was coming in prior to the county rezoning? No. No. That's it. No, sir. All right. Mr. Rick, I, I just wanted some clarification on the process. Now, my understanding was in 2006 when this was changed, there was there was a whole process. People were notified, letters went out, it was in the paper, and uh, and there were no objections at that time. Right. There, in 2006, for probably around two years before the code was adopted, there were various public meetings. I know there was some radio coverage. Uh, there was coverage done in the Dallas Daily Times, not only for legal advertising, but also for um, front page news type of notice. Um, the notice that we're used to in signs as well as individual notices to individual property owners were not sent out because they did a large amount of rezoning for the entire county. So what they did is after from about May till December, the end of that year, they did let people come back and appeal their zoning if they wanted to. There was no charge for a survey. There was no requirement for a survey. There was no charge for the application if they came in during that initial had over 100 zoning cases that year. There were a lot of people who took advantage of that opportunity. Um, so yes, there was a process leading up to it. There was a process <coughs> to try to take care of other things that might have been not agreed with during that rezoning. Um, but ultimately, this property uh, was not a part of that. And I think Mr. Langdale will probably speak a little to that, that uh, maybe the property owner for this particular property was not aware but I'll let him flush that out. Okay. And this time we have any reason for it being rezoned? Uh, just I mean, I have, a, I have a personal opinion. Oh, no, I mean, I didn't see anything in the pack. No, sir. So we don't have an update on it. No, sir. I, I think that uh, my personal opinion is you have a property owner who wants agricultural zone. That's my, that is my opinion, and I think Mr. Langdale can comment on that, but that's my personal opinion. Okay, thank you. Mr. Glenn? Uh, what is the current use of the property? Right now, we believe they use it for um, silviculture, trees, as well as uh, row crops. Um, just a few different row crops on the front portion of the property. So the rezoning for R21 did not affect the use of the property had been under, which still operates within that? Yes, um, the only use that I'm aware on. Um, 
company involved a few years ago, and they used to do uh, some shooting, almost like a target range, type of recreational, outdoor recreation. Um, but as far as the Class A agricultural, I'm not aware of any hindrances that, that have been posed on what they <laughs> At this time, if there is someone here that would like to speak in favor of that, request please come forward and state your name and your address for the record. I'm Bill Lindale of 1006 North Hudson Street. I think I got that right now. 1007 North Hudson Street. Bill Hudson, Georgia. I represent the applicant. And this is so it's really very simple. All, all of us that are a little bit older remember Bolton Dairies. Bolton Dairies was uh, was on the east part of town from the 30s up to about 40s, and I got like in the 50s. They moved out on this track in the 50s. They had been in the farming for over 100 years, and they believe in farming. They want to stay with farming, and they don't want anything else done. They didn't know the property was rezoned. They didn't have any reason to because they didn't do anything with it. The farm, just like they had done in their fathers before. And that's what they would like to continue. They feel like there's too many rooftops, too much asphalt, and too much runoff. And while some of us might say, well, gee, it's a nice track of land, I'll do to do that. It's a very laudable purpose, and you won't find many people standing where I am today telling you that they want to carry it back and have a culture. Matter of fact, you'll sit here, whatever your term is, and I would I would dare say that you will not have the first application to go back to agriculture because we're all going the same way. We want to make what's called a profit. Well, these people don't feel that way. They want to preserve the land. They want to be good stewards of the land. They want to estuary from the wildlife like it's been for the 65, 70, <coughs> uh, they have been growing crops on that land every year. And some of the farmers, you know, they, they grow corn, soybeans, and peanuts from there. I'm sure they grow some other things, probably some silage, but that's what comes from corn. Uh, back when they had the dairy, the dairy closed a number of years ago. But they have continued to farm it and plan to continue to farm it. They rotate the crops. That's what it's been used for, and that's what it continues to be used for the foreseeable future. I'll be glad to answer any questions. Commissioner, do we have any questions for our presenter? I've got a question. Oh, yes, sir. 
that's Bolton Farms. Yes, sir, that's right. That's a Mr. Bolton who still owns that, his family. That's correct. Okay. He's, 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 he's a rain yeah. Yeah, I, I, I understand that, Mr. Rangel. I just want to bring something clear there about grandfather Bolton. Yes, sir. Any other questions for the At this time, is there anybody here that would like to speak against this request? Please come forward at this time. State your name and your address, please. Sir. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. 